Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a video that doesn't exactly have any direction. It's kind of a discussion. It's kind of me just here rambling and complaining about something I've been experiencing lately. And that's the fact that I keep reading really bad books and it's annoying me. <laughs> so far in 2016, it is not 2016, it is 2019. <laughs> so far in 2019, I have read a total of six books. And one of those books was a reread, like a five-star reread, a book that I already knew I loved, just reading it because I wanted to read it again. And the other ones have been pretty mediocre to say the least. I've read one other four-star book, but it wasn't exactly like a novel. It was just an essay essentially by Jason Reynolds for everyone, which I enjoyed. I gave it four stars, like I said, but again, it wasn't like a novel. Like I'm talking about like book books, like full length novels. Of the ones that I've read this year, apart from my reread, I have given them all three stars or less. And even that three star is kind of bordering on like a two and a half. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to talk about these books, I guess, and talk about my frustration with the fact that I keep reading books I don't like. And I just want to read something I love because it's annoying to continuously read books you don't like back to back to back. And I feel like this is something I don't encounter too frequently because for the most part, I really know what I like to read. I'm good at knowing my tastes. I know if I won't like something essentially from the synopsis for the most part. Obviously, you can't always tell. But lately, I guess I've just been getting unlucky because a lot of the books that I've been picking up have not been books that have been aligning with my tastes, even if I thought they would be. So we'll start off with the very first book I read this year, which was And I Darken by Kirsten White. This is a book that's been recommended to me countless times. A lot of people have told me that they think I will like it because it's a retelling of Vlad the Impaler and it's kind of like historical fiction, also not like fantasy because there's no actual magic in this, but it kind of has those like YA fantasy, like intense vibes, if you know what I mean. And I think a lot of people recommended this to me because they know that I like historical fiction and that I like romance and like angst and drama in a lot of the series that I read. And this definitely has those things, but they're not done in a way that I enjoy. <laughs> Essentially, it's about these two siblings who are forced to go and live with the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. They both fall in love with him. And it's kind of like this love triangle thing, except it's not really a love triangle mostly revolves around Lada, the main girl, who kind of rejects her role as a woman in society. She doesn't want to follow these rules that are set for her. She wants to be a soldier. And honestly, nothing really happens. And this is a long book. I will also say I did DNF this, but I DNF this with like probably... I don't even know, like 30, 40 pages left. Like I was so close to the end, but I just couldn't care anymore. The thing that I didn't like about this book is this trend that I see all the time in a lot of books that are deemed feminist, especially like YA books or books aimed at teens. And that is this trend of giving a girl a sword and then having her reject her role in society, and then pretending like that is revolutionary and feminist. I'm not saying that having female characters who want to be warriors or soldiers or reject their role as women in society or the roles that are placed upon them, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that's not a bad thing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that that trend, like that pattern being repeated over and over and over again in so many YA fantasies is getting kind of tiresome to me and it's very like white feminist, like superficial pop feminism. Like it's not actually that feminist. It's not that cool or amazing or badass. Like it's, it's pretty basic. <laughs> and I'm not blaming this book entirely for that. It's not like this book is like the reason I hate that or anything. It's just, I've seen this so many times. And at this point, it's not interesting to me anymore. So that was like one of my biggest problems with it. And apart from that, I just did not find it captivating at all. Like nothing about this book held my attention. I didn't care about the romance. I didn't care about any of the characters. Honestly, I wanted them all to die. I thought that would have been a way more interesting ending. Um, <laughs> and I've noticed this in a lot of like historical slash historical fantasy books like this one and The Queen of the Tearling, which is another one that I read and really didn't like, and also The Killing Moon, which is by N.K. Jemsen that I just recently finished, which is another one of the books that I rated really low and is part of the reason I'm talking about all of this. I think it's the fact that there is such a lack of development within the characters. Like there's such a heavy emphasis and focus on plot and 
this like war is happening and we need to do this strategic thing to find out like how to win this battle or whatever. And all of that is fine. Like I like that stuff in my fantasies. I've read Mistborn. Mistborn has a ton of that in it. I love An Ember in the Ashes. A lot about that series has a heavy focus on the actual conflict that's going on. But I think the difference is those conflicts are far more specific and you feel invested in them because you feel invested in the characters. Whereas with this book and with The Killing Moon and even with The Queen of the Tearling, I don't feel invested in them at all. Like I don't feel invested in the characters because they don't take time to develop the characters enough for me to care about them. They just continuously tell you what's going on. Like with this plot or with this war. And they just tell you that the main character is a badass because she rejects her role in society and wants to be a soldier. But that doesn't make me feel any sort of investment in the character. Does that make sense? Again, I'm sorry if all of this sounds nonsensical and if I'm just going in circles, but like I said, I'm not here to like solve anything. I'm literally just here to like let out my thoughts because I have a lot of them and I felt like expressing them to somebody. So that's what you're getting. And again, I want to emphasize, I'm not knocking like all of YA or all of YA fantasy for the fact that this is like a common trend. I understand it. Like I get why it exists. I just feel like it's become and in a sense always kind of has been such like a base level, very basic sense of what feminism is and what gender roles are. It kind of tires me out when I constantly see people like praising books that have those themes as like feminist stories when they're really not, like they're doing the bare minimum. <laughs> but apart from that, the other thing like I mentioned at the beginning of this video is that I've been on this trend of just reading a bunch of books that I don't like back to back basically. It started with And I Darken, which was my first read of the year, and then I read The Afterlife of Holly Chase, which I didn't hate that book at all by any means. I gave it three stars. I actually really, really enjoyed it at the beginning, um, but as it kept going on and on, I kind of just got tired of it, and it didn't go where I thought it would go, which isn't a bad thing. It just went in a place that was way worse than what I anticipated. And I know this is a very well-loved book on booktube. Like, I know a lot of people really, really love this book, and a lot of people read it last year for the first time and fell in love with it. And I really wanted to fall in love with it too, but for me, it was just deeply average. And then, like I mentioned, I read The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemsen, and this one, again, another deeply average book. This one also was way more boring to me than um, The Afterlife of Holly Chase, and it wasn't as bad, in my opinion, as And I Darken, but not great either. This was very much a two-star book for me. And so I guess I'm mostly just here to say that I'm kind of frustrated. <laughs> I'm frustrated that I keep reading books that I don't like and I am trying to find like something that aligns with my tastes again and I feel like I'm kind of out of touch with that right now and I think it's probably probably because I keep picking up books that are being recommended to me by other people, not just looking for something and looking into it to see if I will like it. And I'm not saying that having something recommended to you is bad. Obviously, I literally do this for a living. Like, I recommend books to people constantly, all the time. I've been recommended so many books myself from all of you, from other booktubers that I've loved. I never would have read if a booktuber hadn't told me to read it or if one of you hadn't told me to read it. So that's not my point at all. I think I'm just saying that, like, I've been going along with, like, hype a lot more recently and just picking up books that I've been hearing people talk about a lot, picking up popular books. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I've loved a ton of popular books. I've built up hype around a ton of popular books for sure. But I think it's really getting to me and I'm just getting really frustrated with it. So I guess where I'm going with this video is that one of the actual goals that I had for 2019, for my reading in 2019 anyway, which is to continue to pick up books that I'm really enthusiastic about. That's been something I've really struggled with over the past like two years or so. Like I said, I know my tastes really Really well and I know what I will like, but I have this tendency to just pick up a book because I know I can finish it really quickly and read it just for the sake of finishing a book or reading a book. And then I'll put books that I'm really excited about on the back burner because I know they're going to take me longer to read or because I don't want them to end because I know I'm going to like them so much or the next book in the series isn't out or something like that. So I really want to 
be intentional about the books that I'm picking up and intentionally pick up the ones that I am the most excited about first, not continuously put them off and read other things first in between and then just keep pushing them back and back and back. I want to pick up the ones that I'm most excited about immediately when I feel like reading them. So I guess this was kind of like a weird little pointless video. I don't know, I just really wanted to talk about the fact that I've been reading a bunch of books that I don't like and I think it's probably because I'm not picking up what I want to be reading. I think that's what it is. I think I'm just filling in time and space with whatever is closest to me or most convenient and not actually reading what I want to be reading, which doesn't make sense. Like, I should be reading what I want. That's what reading is about. So yeah, there you will have it. That's my little video of me ranting about a few books that I read recently that I didn't like and complaining about the fact that I've been reading some books that I really don't like and I want to be reading books I love. But there you all have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, like I said, I know that this probably made no sense. Um, this is not like any video I've done before. But if you like me talking about random things, doing little discussions, ranting about topics, if you have something you would like me to talk about, please let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will talk about it soon. Also, please let me know um, if you have had this struggle as well. Do you also do this thing where you will just pick up books for the sake of picking up books or just pick up hyped books and put the books you really wanna read on the back burner? I do it all the time, like all the time. And I don't know why. It's a really bad habit that I wanna break. And I'm just curious to know if other people do that too. But if you'd like to follow me on any of my other social media, all my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.